Hey guys, it's John Oranya and today pag-usapan natin how you can increase your income this coming 2020. Let's go! Hey guys, it's John Oranya from Negos University and today pag-usapan natin how you can increase your income this 2020 because I've been uh, publishing videos na more frequently and consistently in the last past few months and I've been getting a lot of inquiries and questions about Sir John, ano po bang magandang negosyo, ano po bang dapat gawin ko, I'm just starting in this business and all of this. But ultimately, the reason people would like to start a business is for what reason? To make more Money. And then, pag-usapan natin how you can increase your income wherever you at uh, right now. But first, I gotta tell you a real story. This happened nung ako po last year ng uh, King University. Because ako po nung uh, when I was in college sa Adamson University, medyo uh, school bukol. I'm not really serious about my education. So yung five-year engineering degree, I took it six and a half years to finish my college degree. Yep! That's why I'm not smart, I'm not school smart at all. Minsan ay niisip ko, paano ako nakapasa ng engineering, hindi ako magaling sa math. But anyways, yung aking pong last subject was Jose Rizal. You know naman sa, sa university, typically may mga subjects ka na hindi mo naman alam bakit mo kinukuha at anong kinalaman sa trabaho. Of one of which was yung history. So yung last year ko po, our subject was Jose Rizal. And um, it was a summer class. Alam niyo naman, sa Philippines, pag summer, mainit. So, nagtitrain lamang po ako, coming from EDSA Station ng MRT, bababa ng, I think it's UN Station ng, ng MRT, and then from there, maglalakad papunta dun sa aming building. Mga more or less is, oh, I don't know, half kilometer or, or probably little less than that papunta dun sa building. So, in other words, pagdating ko po dun sa classroom, Eh, pawis na ako. <laughs> so what I normally do is I go to school earlier than the usual and then dumidiretso muna ako sa aming pong library which is air condition. So I can just hang out, cool down a little bit before I go straight to my class or to our classroom. So ganun po yung ginagawa ko after the class is the same thing dahil yung classroom naman namin hindi naman po air condition so mainit. So after the class dumidiretso rin po ako sa library which is Normally, hindi ko ginagawa bilang isang studyante to go in the library and to learn or study. I just go there to cool down. So, ganun po yung nangyari. It was summer. And of course, you know, eventually, you know, dahil nasa library ka na, you start to look around what you can do. Back then, we don't have a mobile phone. We, have, we don't have a cell phone that you can waste hours of your time. So, I grab a book. And then, the book is about HTML. And it's like about designing a website. This was like back in 1998 or so, 1998, 1999, which is back then for most of you, don't even know what an internet back in 1998, 1998, 1999. So I was there reading book, HTML. I was like, whoo, interesting. And then may mga simple instruction, this and that, just go to your computer, code in HTML. That's how I learn how to build a website, which pag graduate ko po ng college, after a few months, I was able to get a job as a web designer. Back in the day, ang web, ang internet, is a new thing for most Filipinos. I think back then, it was like just 5% lamang po ng population natin na may internet. Pero ngayon, parang sabi nila something like, I don't know, 67 million Filipinos are connected to the internet. And on average, we spend 10 hours a day. That is right, sampung oras kada araw sa internet. So, napakalaki na po na nagbago. So, what happened then was I was able to get a job as a web designer. And then from there, para nagkaroon sa akin ng aha moment that if I will read book, I will get better opportunities. Because back then guys, remember, fresh graduate po ako. I really don't know a lot on web design. Like, I mean, wala akong experience. But I know how to come up with a simple web page back in the day. So, uh, yun po yung mga naging aha moment sa akin. Imagine niyo school bukol, you, you don't have an experience, you have transcript, na alam mo namang puro singko, na mumutak-tak, sabi nga nila. But then, I was able to get a job. So, yun nga po yung naging one aha moment sa akin. If I will read books, I'll have an advantage. So, ganun po yung ginawa ko. And then I was, after a year or so, working. And I was like, you know, hindi naman ako talaga creative. 
you know, I really don't like graphic design and all, so I moved for computer programming. So what I did is the same thing. I bought few books about programming and learn how to program. So pag the things sa interview, of course, meron akong knowledge. So I have more chance of getting that job, that position because nag-aral. Yun po ang sekreto is nag-aral. Now here's the thing. Going back to the introduction of this video is how can I increase my income? Here's the first step, my friend. You cannot simply increase your income if you're not gonna increase your knowledge and then increase your skills and ability. Ako po as an entrepreneur, I have the employees, I have people under me. I help people. I was also a former employee. So I know both sides of the world. And here's how I can guarantee you there are a lot of people a lot of entrepreneurs are looking for great talent, people with great skills, and they're willing to pay more if you can prove to them that you have won. So that's the thing. Education, number one. Number two, of course, is your implementation of ano yung po yung mga natutunan ninyo. But the first time again, the first thing is education. Your income cannot grow if you personally is not growing at the same time. Kaya po minsan hindi nagkakaroon ng congruence sa tinatawag. Ano ibig sabihin? Have you heard of those stories na may nanalo sa lottery and they make suddenly they make millions and then eventually they lost everything at mas naging worse pa yung buhay nila? Because walang congruence eh. Ano ibig sabihin? Tumaas yung income nila pero they themselves hindi naman nag-evolve as fast personally. So they are not prepared. They are not equipped to manage such wealth. That is why also we hear athletes. Diba sabi na parang 85% daw ng former NBA players, they made millions. Then eventually, nababankrupt after their career. Why? Because many of them, they started what like 20, 21. They are so young. They don't have money skills. They don't have money management skills. They don't have business skills, investment skills. And so, yun po nagiging problema. Kaya hindi po basta-basta nang na, you know, lalaki ang kita mo without you de developing yourself as a person. Learn new skills. And this coming 2020, that should be your goal. What is this like one skill that I can develop that will multiply my income, multiply the growth of my business? As an entrepreneur, is it about time management? Is it about marketing online? Is it about selling online? Is it over, over telephone selling, right? What is this one skill that you can develop that you think will give you the highest chance of multiplying your income this 2020? So I hope this helps. Again, thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Wait, before you go, do not forget to click that red subscribe button below. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching.